what is up and I'm going to be showing you how to do what I'm about to do right now. How to make it create a task like that and then how to make it show that you have succeeded the task. Which will be shown right here after I kill Bob. Alright, task completed, kill Bob. That guy's good shit, I'm not going to lie. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. This is the setup I have right now, but we're gonna we're gonna delete this, and then we're gonna come over here and Control V over here. Uh, so now this is it. This is all you need to make that happen. You need a create task, a set task, and two triggers and two players. So to get these, to get the create task and set task, you come to Systems, which is F5, and you type. T A S K, and you grab this and this. Create task, set task, create task, set task. You need those two. And then you, we're going to need two triggers. To get triggers, you come to here, which is F3. Click this, get, stop filtering for task, and grab two of these. And then you're going to come over here, and you're, I'm going to move these over here. And then you're going to need two players which we already have the two players, we'll just keep those on there. I was just showing you how to get these. You should know how to put players down. So I'm going to delete this stuff, and then I'm going to show you how to do this. So first we want to start the mission. So to start the mission, we're going to make this a 3x3. Three three. You don't have to make it a 3x3, three three, it's just my preference. And uh, do that. And then to make this guy active, when Blue 4 walks in, because this is a Blue 4, and we want him to have a mission and present trigger connect sync to this create task and then we want this to be created or assigned you can pick whatever one you want to say on the screen and then we want it to be always visible create task kill bob kill bob you don't have to put description i'm not it's for the sake of the video link and uh, we want to sync this to the player so now it is going to be oh, oh. I am idiot <laughs> that was my fault I have this guy's player when this guy should be the player for some reason that, reason that happened uh, so let's do this again <laughs> and show you one more time that was a fail so it says kill Bob, task is signed kill Bob, but it doesn't pop up with mission successful or anything like that saying the task was complete. And that's because we haven't put the next feature in. The next feature in, you're going to need to go to here, the actual player that you want to kill, and you're going to need him a variable name. You can name him Bob, you can, name him, you can do it W, A, any variable you want, as long as you remember that variable. You're going to press OK after you've done that. Then you come over to the trigger, and you're going to go down here to condition, and type exclamation A-L-I-V which spells alive and then B-O-B the variable with the space between the alive and the variable and then semicolon and then press OK that's all you need to do to that trigger and then actually that's not all you need to do you need to sync it to set task and then you're going to go to set task and you're going to say succeeded and then that's all you need to do to that and then you need to come over here and sync it to create task and then that is how the whole thing works. So now, I walk in here, I kill Bob, I kill Bob, and I wait for a little bit, and then task completed, kill Bob. So now we have succeeded and stuff.